So we are in front of the new UJF 7151 Plus 2. This is a uh, update from the current UJF 7151 Plus. It's got some really cool features on it. So it's got uh, Mamaki Clear Control, Mamaki Fine Diffusion, Mamaki Advanced Pass System, Waveform Control, Mamaki uh, Circulation Technology, the Nozzle Check Unit, the Nozzle Recovery System. It's got a long uh, drop mode for printing on objects that might need a little bit more head gap. And then it also supports a couple of key features. So uh, just like the uh, other UJF7151, it has the ability to support all kinds of objects up to six inches. And it's got a pretty large table here. This machine here is a bit unique in the UJF lineup in the table design. So this table design has a four axis drive table mechanism with a ball screw. So it's ultra precise. It has the ability to hold some heavier uh, materials than the UJF 3042 or the UJF 6042 series. But the UJF 7151 Plus 2 has an update to the weight capacity compared to the previous model. So previous model was able to support up to 22 pounds. This one can support up to 66 pounds of weight. So there's a lot of different objects that you can put on here. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. In addition, it has additional print heads. It has eight print heads in it. And these print heads are capable of producing 1,800 DPI. So they're ultra precise, and they also have the ability to produce really fine detail, really, really, really great for all kinds of different uh, work, whether you're doing uh, production work for trophies and awards, ad specialty, uh, fine art reproduction, all kinds of different things. So it's really, really versatile machine, great characteristics. It supports a six color setup. It has the ability to support four color natively as well. So you can get some additional production speed out of it with that. Ethernet capabilities, got everything they need from a production standpoint. And one of the best features of this machine compared to any other machine in the current Mamaki lineup is this machine has the ability to produce a gloss UV. Not a clear overlay, but actually gloss UV. So this machine can control the lamps and with an LH100 ink setup, you're able to produce glossy prints with colored UV ink. That's unlike any other machine in the market. Most UV ink has a little bit of a uh, matte look to it. Some are a little more semi-gloss than others. This one can produce a true gloss image with color without having to do a clear overlay. That is a game changer in this particular series. It's a game changer in the market. So for anyone that's looking to get into production capabilities, looking to do all kinds of different things, whether it's, again, uh, specialty items, you're looking to do mass production, uh, this has the, the capability to do that. It also has scalability features that are built into it uh, that are also being introduced on our JFX 600. So if you haven't taken a look at that, you should definitely check that machine out. It has an MDL command uh, software library. So what it allows you to do is create a automation workflow. So for production environments that are going to be producing in mass that need the ability to load and unload the table with a robotic arm, for example, or a conveyor belt system, the MDL command structure allows the uh, really anyone to create any kind of interoperability with an other device. So it doesn't have to be a Mamaki device. It could be a robotic arm, something that we don't make. It could be a conveyor belt, like I said, all kinds of different things, and you're able to customize that to your needs. So with the software library, you're able to have the printer produce uh, commands to and from. So it's able to command the device on the other end to start whatever its process is, or it's able to allow the other one to communicate back that it's done so that it can run some sort of additional process on its end, whether it's a planing, uh, table adjustment, whatever it needs to do. So there's a lot of great features built into it. The MDL command gives you scalability, and it gives you the ability to do all kinds of things that we probably haven't even thought of. I've got a couple of examples here. Uh, here is a, a great example of a uh, product that was produced on this and it was also cut down with a laser engraver uh, similar to the products that are also available through Mamaki whether it's a rotary engraver device or it's a laser engraver device so this particular uh, object was produced on a clear with the white it was also printed on this piece here and these pieces front and back, and then they were cut with the laser and assembled after the fact. So you can produce all of this in a flat good, 
bring it over to the laser, convert it down, and then assemble it after, and you have these really great, unique features. There's also some other really cool features about it. Because of the way that the uh, printer produces, you can create these layered effect. So uh, this particular uh, set of, uh, I guess you'd call them coasters, uh, was produced independently, and each layer shows a different slice, in this case of this avocado. So really unique applications. And then if I assemble this all back together and flip it back over, it looks like a complete avocado from the outside, and then I can peel against the layers. Really neat stuff only capable of being able to be done on a machine like this that has the ability to produce, that white has the ability to produce this high fine detail. So you can get all kinds of creative stuff done with it. The sky's the limit with it. UJF 7151 Plus 2 is now available. 